and Sarah. Welcome to the It's a Sarah podcast. Today is January 16, 2023, and this is episode 55. I love to crochet and I love to talk. So that's the perfect combination for making this podcast. Uh, I make an episode every week. Actually, I make two every week. Every week I'm coming to you from the Netherlands. So excuse my Dutch English. Uh, but every Monday I make one episode in English and one in Dutch. And um, in these episodes, I share my handwerk perikelen with you. Um, that's a Dutch word for crafty adventures from the past week, I guess. <laughs> this week I will uh, tell you uh, about what I'm wearing. I have a finished object. I'm working on an old work in progress. And um, my uh, youngest daughter had a request again. There's something interesting happening in my family. I will tell you about <laughs> knitting wise. <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to tell. So let's start. Um, what am I wearing? Of course, my headband. Braided cabled ear warmers by Jessica Kalwai. You can find all the um, links um, to, my ref to my projects, uh, which I tell you about um, down below in the show notes. And you can find me. Uh, I, uh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, most of the time, but you can find me as It's a Sarah on Instagram and on Ravelry. Um, I keep up my show no my, my uh, notes on Ravelry quite good uh, in English, so that uh, you can find all the information right there. Um, let me see where. Oh, oh yeah, uh, what I'm wearing? My headband, of course, and I'm wearing my shawl. And I actually never wear uh, a shawl while making a podcast because I always get <laughs> quite warm when I'm talking and enthusiastic. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, I always get quite warm when I'm talking about my knitting because I love talking about my knitting. But when I'm knitting, um, I uh, often wear uh, a shawl, uh, actually always, because it's quite cold in, in our house. Um, it it always was, but this year this year it is um, maybe something some colder, <laughs> even colder, um, and that's okay. It's right now. It's the the, the last uh, week wasn't very cold, but very wet. We we don't have cold winters in the Netherlands, mm, um, but um, last week it was wet, wet, wet. Oh, it rained so much, and it is. C cozy, cozy gray weather for knitting inside. And I think if I remember correctly, if I um, uh, today is the last wet day and then it will become dry weather, but cold weather. So um, 
uh, when I'm sitting on our couch or on our table um, knitting, I always get a, a bit chilly, so I like to wear a shawl around my neck. And this is one of my favorites. Um, this is the Skimning shawl, and it's uh, a design from Sofia from Camabornia, although I think it's not Camabornia anymore, but I'm not, not sure, I'm not sure. I will link uh, the pattern down below. But um, this is one of my favorite shawls, although I it's a triangle shaped shawl. I am not a very big fan of triangle shaped shawls, uh, especially um, I'm not good in wearing them, in shaping them. I my shawls um, seem to have an own uh, opinion about how they want to be draped around my body. And that's not always the same as what I want <laughs> them to, uh, how I want them to. So um, sometimes they are perfect around my neck and body. And sometimes it, I, I can't get them right. The, the shape is always a bit, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not just not good at in 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 draping triangle shawls around my neck i have quite a few shawls and um uh, some <clears throat> some shawls for my coats for outside or my cardigans for outside and this is i wear this also inside but because of the colors uh, it, it doesn't match with my coat um, um no not really so um I wear it um, mostly inside, but it's really, really nice and warm. And now it's okay. So it's okay. It's the the positive of, of triangle shawls. You have a lot of fabric to to put around your neck, and it's quite warm. So I will show it to you because it's a wonderful pattern. Show a triangle shape, and you you start in the middle, and then you um, increase uh, every. Uh, Every row, every other row, I don't know. And it's this very big uh, shawl. And I love, love, love the colors. They are very autumnal. <laughs> no, I don't. autumn colors. Um, I'm not sure if they are my colors, but um, I really love it. I knitted this shawl with two skeins of um, Kauni yarn. Uh, one is the beige and you knit the... the um, uh, the ripped, um, the, the garter stitch, the garter stitch uh, um, rows. And then you have um, a color changing skein. And it's it's from yellow to orange to red to brown and back to yellow. And you knit um, stockinette um, uh, with th this yarn. And it creates a wonderful fabric. It's a sport weight yarn, wonderful fabric and the color change. And uh, I love, also love the back of the shawl. And I I really dislike ugly backs of shawls. The the other side, when I don't know, I, the wrong side, I, I don't like it when the shawl has a clear wrong side. And this one has a wrong side, but it's also a beautiful wrong side. So that's okay. So I'm also wearing this shawl like this with the wrong side to the front and i also love it so that's perfect um i also love the edge it's all all by the pattern that's another brown yarn i really love it and the fabric is lovely the warmth it's it's not a it's a sport weight shawl so it's not very heavy it's also not a uh, fingering weight it's it's in between but it's the perfect uh, perfect layer for and, and when I'm sitting I always have a cold, cold in my neck so I <coughs> put it in my neck and I wear it like this and it's ah oh, it's nice and warm and perfect I um, uh, have uh, two new skeins in my stash one uh, county and the other one uh, I don't remember but it's not county um, but more a brown yellow and black uh, a bit darker because this is Quite, th these are warm colors and I love to wear it in um, when it's autumn, in the fall, I love to wear it. But it doesn't feel um, 
correctly in spring or in winter actually although it is lovely so but i'm not a brown eyed brown haired person i'm a blue maybe i, I think maybe blue would suit me good but i don't like blue and gray so i'm um, brown is absolutely my favorite color so i have one with more brown but i also have a dark gray instead of the beige and i'm not sure if that's a good idea for uh, if i like the dark gray or or if i should replace it for a dark brown i don't know i ha i do have some options in my stash but i'm not quite sure which one to make so i don't make it <laughs> for for quite some time and i wear this and this is perfect and lovely so this is my skimming shawl let's put it off because i'm getting warm <laughs> I don't need a warm shawl because I'm also wearing my Sunday cardigan and um, I finished this in uh, in December last year so a few episodes ago I told you all about it but it's also interesting to to give it a bit of attention after wearing it for a while but because when something is new you don't know how it is to wear um, but I I have wear, I worn this worn I worn this a lot this is knit in olive oil slopey, so it's quite a thick uh, cardigan and uh, I love it. I love this part because in the pattern, the pattern picture um, shows a bit of a standing color and maybe uh, I didn't add uh, buttons. I don't need buttons and there was a Dutch viewer. She, um, um, she suggested to, uh, to use... Um, Oh, I don't know how to say it. Uh, when you have your bra, the the part you can click it together. In Dutch, we say a sluiting. The no, that part you can buy it without the bra, <laughs> and you can. She, she said maybe is that an option to to use a bra thing to close your cardigan? And I don't uh, have uh, had that in my stash. I don't have. Uh, bra things without bras in my stash but i thought oh i can also use i could also use a stitch marker so i used a stitch marker with a little um, gemstone little gemstone i guess and when i want to close it i just put it together with the stitch marker and it's perfect and then the color stands up a bit but uh, actually i wore it more open and then the color folds around my neck as a warm thick layer because it's a double color it's folded double it's fold double it's so nice and warm and uh, it, it, it feels like a woolly snug in my neck I, I really love it so I'm uh, I'm very happy this cardigan is absolutely um, uh, perfect I love the length I love the sleeves I fold my um uh cuffs uh back when i'm doing the dishes or cleaning my house or cooking or uh whatever and when i'm knitting when i'm sitting and knitting that's what i mainly do <laughs> then i uh i have them like this and uh yeah i also go when i have a walk with the dog it is winter but it's not very cold i i just put a big shawl around my neck and i walk like this not when it's raining but when it's dry and that's enough it's enough it's such a warm woolly layer uh, so that's uh, that's nice so i'm very happy with this uh, sunday cardigan which i'm also very happy with is this which i'm and my dress my new dress oh i'm so 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 happy um i don't know if you can see it it's a hinterland dress my second uh, a few weeks ago in the end of november i guess i received my brown hinterland dress and it's absolutely my favorite dress to wear i think since the end of november i less than five times i choose another outfit than my brown dress i have never had a dress which makes me so happy and which i want to wear all the time which it feels like a uniform um my uh, my daughter calls it a knitting knitting granny outfit i <laughs> a knitting lady outfit she says breivrouwtjes outfit in dutch uh, and i love this this outfit i was looking for hinterland dresses for years um i can sew but i'm not a talented sewer far from talented sewer and i don't like to sew so um so <laughs> um but i want this dress i very very wanted this dress very very much 
Um, so I received this fabric from my parents for my birthday um, in 2021 and it's linen. Um, this is black linen, a bit of stonewashed linen, a thick linen. Um, and yeah, in the summer I tried to, I, I started my brown hinterland dress. I bought a pattern online, I printed it, taped it, cut the fabric and, and, and set and sew. But I, I'm too impatient for sewing and sewing goes much faster than knitting, but sewing is also quite definitive. I mean, when I'm sewing, uh, and I, uh, when I'm knitting, I'm, I'm knitting, making a mistake, ripping out, knitting, making a mistake again, rip out. And that's my, that's my way of knitting, trying, rip out, knit again, try and, and back and forth. Um, but when that's your way and you are showing, then you have to pick the rip out is not easy. You have to, I don't know how you call it in English, but with a little sharp thing, you have to check, check your stitches and then rip out and then oh, I didn't like it so um but um I, I didn't finish it before summer and I put it in a bag and I didn't watch it do it I, I still wanted the dress very very much but I didn't want to make it <laughs> and then um uh, in September, I guess, or October, I'm not sure October I, it was, I guess, I um, I met with Jessica and Jessica is a Dutch knitter. Um, uh, we uh, met through Instagram, but she, um, she lives um, in my neighborhood. So uh, we connected through Instagram and um, uh, we had a cup of coffee and uh, we talked about knitting and she told me she was also a sewer, a very good sewer. She preferred knitting, but she was a sewer. So when she was uh, uh, leaving, when she went home, I was sitting and knitting and thinking, could I ask her, could I ask her for my, for my hinterland? Shall, shall I do that? And I did. And I absolutely said, if you don't want it and I want to pay and blah, 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 blah. And she said, I will do it for you. And she made me, long, long story short, she made me two of my favorite dresses, two hinterland dresses. The brown one I already had. And last Friday she texted me. She said, I, uh, I was, uh, I, I was uh, at your door and I, uh, I gave the dress to your son. And I was, what? I was not at home at that moment. And when I saw her message on my phone, I, I ran downstairs and I asked my son, is there something here for me? Uh, he said, is there, did, did someone uh, left a dress for me? A dress, he said, a bag? <laughs> so, oh yes, it's uh, it's there. And, and I ran and I looked and there was the bag with the dress. <laughs> and I put it on and I didn't put it off or put it off. Yeah, when I go to sleep, then I put it off. <laughs> It's it's ah oh, I love it I really love it it's uh, it's almost the same as the as the brown one only the buttons uh, the button band is all the way I do have um, do you call it censure in English too a piece of fabric to uh, to tie around my uh, body um, I don't know uh, Jessica asked is 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 it necessary is it nice when you have also have that one with the buttons but I I think it's better for my figure. I'm a very sh small person. So um, when the dress is too wide, I will, yeah, it, it, uh, it looks like a tent if I'm camping in my dress. And now it's perfect. The fit is perfect. She is such a talent so talented sewer. Also a talent, the talented knitter. But I'm very happy. And now I have my knitting uniform and that's all I need. And um, I wasn't uh, buying new things or, or getting new things for me in 2023. And this is a new thing, but I it was all, all set up in 2022. So I paid for it. I ordered it, or ordered, I asked it and, and it was all in 2022. So it doesn't count, doesn't count. <laughs> so I'm very happy in my knitting lady outfit. Um, let's talk about knitting. Uh, I have a finished object. This is uh, the sweater for my 16 year old, 16 year old daughter. Um, I made her a sweater. It is the home sweater V-neck, a pattern by Kadri. And I think it's a series because in last summer I knitted the home chemical and I also saw a home 
cardigan, I guess, for the V-neck. I'm not sure, but um, uh, my children, hmm, I, I am knitting for quite a few years now, but I, uh, when I got to the point I was good in knitting garments, my kids were too big. Um, they have their own choices for their clothes. When they were little, I could put them on everything I liked. And, and of course, when they didn't like something, they didn't have to wear it, but they, they were okay with a lot. But when kids are getting bigger, they are getting their own opinion and that's absolutely good and nice. But my knitting wasn't part of their <laughs> opinion for clothes. And um, I knit quite some sweaters, but there was not enough love for uh, uh, they weren't they didn't wear them as much as i hoped and as they hoped because it wasn't there my daughters they are 13 and 16 years old now they um they buy their own clothes and um they are wearing horrible sweaters bought in cheap stores uh, and they, they it seems uh, they are, if they are, they like, no, <laughs> struggling, struggling. They seem to be knitted, hand knitted, but they aren't. And um, uh, they look, they look nice. They look nice. It's, it's not, they are not ugly. Although they are not ugly until they are washed two times. Then they are ugly because they are acrylic. There are just plastic layers around your body. And ah, I hate it. <laughs> it's not nice, but I hate it. And I don't understand because I always say, I'm a knitter. I can make you exact such a sweater, which the same look, but then better and nicer, warmer and, and for longer, stays longer, beautiful. It even gets m more beautiful when you wear it. But they are, no, 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 you knit yourself and we love your knitting for yourself, not for us. And they didn't say it like that, but that, that was how it was but the last few months it's changing and um my 16 year old daughter is knitting my, my kids uh, uh learned knitting at uh, school uh my 16 years old 16 year old daughter is knitting a sweater for her boyfriend a woolen sweater for her boyfriend and it's it's a very slow progress because she has a busy life and but she's enjoying the process of knitting every time she's knitting she says oh it's so nice i i enjoy it so much and oh, i love that i love that and my youngest daughter ordered socks and and i showed them last week and last uh, last episode and she she has to, to, she is telling me every day how much she enjoys them how warm they are how nice how nice they are my husband sa said uh, a few weeks ago um i think it was also beginning of december he said ah oh, i had a colleague on at my work and he was wearing a woolen cardigan and I liked it. I, I, I would like to have a woolen, car woolen cardigan too. Will you knit one for me? And I was, what are you asking me? My husband is also a fleece cardigan lover. I hate fleece cardigans. I'm sorry if you love them, but they are also plastic layers. And I, there's, I, I want to knit him. I very, very, very want to knit him that's also not a good sentence but i would love to knit him a cardigan but he never wants to because he's a bit of a, a yarn snob oh it's itchy it's itchy and and <laughs> I, I he didn't want it by until now so um i'm i'm acting a bit cool oh okay okay and and inside i think yes i want it i want it but oh you want it oh okay okay yeah we yeah i can do it yes yes and then I'll be quiet. He really needs to want it. He really needs to want it because uh, <laughs> I like that idea. So, uh, <coughs> and my um, 16 year old daughter, I told her I would make her a sweater uh, because she has such a sweater in, uh, in the store, a woolly one, a thrifted one. It was gifted by a friend of mine and it is very soft and nice and she would love to wear it. And I said, I want to make you one. But my daughter is also a yarn snob and she also thinks, oh, it's very itchy, itchy. So I uh, uh, have chosen for softness, um, 
Sunday, Sandness Sunday, the petite knit line. Uh, I uh, never have knitted with that yarn um, and I think it's quite expensive. It's not, uh, I don't mind expensive yarn, but um, I thought it was quite exciting investing in expensive yarn for my daughter and not not knowing if she would like it, if she would wear it. But then I saw a little Dutch web shop and she had, uh, she offered it with quite some discount. And I thought, and, and in the color I lo I loved it was when it was on the on the skein I couldn't see if it was brown or uh, green. And now I think the co a color called Into the Woods and. I, I, it's green. On screen, it's green. <laughs> green screen! <laughs> but um, uh, uh, although it was brown or green, it, uh, no, whether it was brown or green, it doesn't matter because I love, bo love both. So I um, hold the yarn double and I really, really love it. And my daughter love it too, loves it too. Because uh, see, um, uh, sometimes uh, I did a quick fit on her and she... Um, she only had a tank top under it, so very um, uh, directly on her skin, all of her arms and hair, and it wasn't itchy at all. She could handle it perfectly, so um, that was very nice. And it feels really, really... She didn't wear it. Uh, it was blocking and drying. I have some uh, f footage. Oh no, it was in the, in the front of my episode, I guess. Or in, of, of, after talking? No, I think in the front. You can see me... Uh, uh, cleaning my blocking uh, things and uh, cutting all the yarn ends and so, but um, uh, uh, she she can wear it tomorrow because I have to show it. She want to wear it today, but I said nah, -uh, I have to show it to my uh, on my episode. But it's really nice. It's an absolutely nice pattern. It's a drop shoulder pattern. So you start with the back. Um, and you just knit um, flat, uh, quite some uh, some centimeters. So you have a flat, uh, straight fabric. Then you pick up some stitches for the sleeve, for the shoulder. I don't know which one th first, but for the shoulder. And you do some short rows. And then you also knit uh, back and forth. And you do the increases for the V-shaped neckline and then that side and when that's all good you um, join all the things together and you start knitting in the round. I um, go down one needle size uh, when I start knitting in the round because I uh, my um, back and forth knitting, my straight knitting is uh, a bit looser than my knitting in the round. Um, when I was joining in the round I um, uh, and my skein was um, uh, uh, up. Uh, when um, I have to uh, take uh, new skeins, I uh, started uh, at the sleeves. I always do that, and I also did the, the ribbing for the neckline. And it's I I'm not um, I find it very hard to pick up stitches for the neckline uh, even and 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 straight, but it's getting better every time. So I uh, I'm quite happy uh, uh, to uh, uh, to experience uh, experience that that it's that it's uh, my skills are improving. So even in the non forgiving merino yarn, it's quite neat. Maybe I should put it, not put it there, but it's okay. So I uh, knit the sleeves and um, uh, I, uh, according to pattern, I had quite some ribbing, but she didn't like it. And when she was fitting, she said, uh, I, I want the ribbing shorter and the sleeves longer. So I ripped out the ribbing and oh, no, it, at first she said, oh no, it's okay, it's okay, leave it that way, leave it this way. But I said, no, you can have it the way you want it to be. Let me rip out and knit again. But you then you have to knit it again. I said, no, I, I, I don't mind. I prefer knitting again and, and having you very happy with the sleeves than uh, uh, letting it this way and you are not wearing the sweater with so much pleasure. So uh, I ripped out and then I did an extra stretchy bind off. But this um, this sweater, uh, the pattern uh, told you to use a tubular bind off. and But I'm not a tubular bind off fan. I don't know. I try it sometimes and every time I ripped it out, I love doing it, but I don't like the look of it. It's not as neat as everybody tells you in my case. So, but, but my, this sweater was absolutely uh, asking for um, 
can, can I please have a tubular bind off? Please, please, please. My sweater wanted to have a tubular bind off. I did something with a stitch here. A bit too tight. Weaving in too tight. I don't know what I... Hmm. Maybe I should do this. <laughs> no, I can fix it, but not while I'm filming my episode. Um, so I ripped out the extra stretchy bind off. And uh, at first I did a um, tubular bind off without a setup rose, but I don't like that. I didn't like that result. And then I used the tutorial of Suzanne Bryan, Bryan and I did the um, um, four rows setup. Um, and then I did the tubular bind off and I love doing it. And I actually quite like the look. So maybe tubular bind off and I are getting friends. I love it, but the, the stretch is limited. So look, this one, I have woven in one yarn thread and too tight. So I have to fix that, but that, uh, that's not a problem. I also did it at the bottom and there, there is not um, a limited uh, stretch, but you can see, you can see the setup rows. I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I did exactly what she want me to do, but you can see the lines of the setup rows, but I'm not sure if I, if it's worth my attention, but, um, I made size extra small. My daughter wanted this sweater to be oversized with a lot of positive ease. And she was a bit afraid, uh, that, uh it was not oversized enough, but I thought I'm working with, uh, Merino held double. Merino often is growing after blocking. And I, I have the idea it, it, it did happen. Um, she didn't fit it when it was finished because, um, oh, I, I, I've taken the measurements. I could check. I have a, a crafting book. I don't know if I have told in the, in my English episodes, but this is this is one of my biggest crafting uh, success. Uh, I was always, uh, Keeping up notes, making notes, bo notebooks, bullet journaling. Uh, I always loved doing that, but but um, my perfectionism was bothering me every time. It wasn't was not looking as good as I wanted to be. I wanted a new book, and how oh, I didn't in enjoy it. But a few years ago, um, my youngest daughter, she was a little girl by then, and she bought me um, uh, this book, not this one, but such a. <coughs> notebook for my knitting and um i couldn't uh it 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 has it, it must be uh an uh an, a, 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 no try it again sarah try it again um there was not another option than um making this to a success because she bought it little girl bought her mother a book and i couldn't do do what I used to do. Oh, I not like my work. Put a book away with her present. So um, my perfectionism um, was parked, and I um, I didn't invite her to the party. <laughs> my perfectionist, and I made an imperfect knitting book, and I keep track of all my um, all my projects, and I I I'm just doing scrappy notes and 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 writing everything down and um it ha just doing something and it, it with tape and not it's not neat but it's making me very happy and this is my third third one i have two others and these are my knitting diaries and they are in I, I, when i'm old and and grumpy <laughs> when i'm an old knitting granny I can give my knitting books to my children. Here, this is what Granny made. <laughs> you can find it all in here. All the information. And um, yeah, I love it. I really, really love it. Uh, it, it, it. Mainly my project notes, but sometimes also instructions. Uh, when I uh, learned the eye cord bind off or the... Um, the Kitchener stitch, I wrote it all down because that's a way of um, uh, making it um, 
uh, work for me. Uh, practicing, writing it down um, helps me understanding the process. And it's also nice that I have it with me um, when I don't have the internet. There are not very occasions when you, in which you don't have internet uh, these days, but um, when there is no internet, I, I can check it. <laughs> um, so, uh, this is my page for um, my home sweater v-neck and I made a um, on a, an old envelope I, I drawed the sweater with all the measurements and I uh, was it was my plan to make a good um, drawing in my book but then I thought oh let's cut it out and put it in here and it's absolutely perfect so I love my knitting books and it's also um, when you finish a project um, uh, you directly, of you, I directly want to start a new project. I have a very, very, very long list of new, <coughs> new um, uh, knitting and crochet work in my head. And when I finish something, I want to straight go straight forward to the next one. But it felt feels so good to take some time to work, um, to check your Ravelry page. I want to keep up my Ravelry notes. I do that for you. Also a bit for myself, but, but mainly for you. Um, and then um, uh, close the Ravelry project as finished with all the pictures and stuff. And then um, uh, do the stuff in my uh, knitting book and then block it and all and, and clean out, out my project bag. Um, uh, put the needles in the right spot, the, the yarn ends uh, in uh, in the right bag, the, the leftovers in the right box and then it's all clean and neat and it feels so um, calm to do it that way and, and just it feels so good as if the circle is round and then you go to the next part. And of course, I have some scrappy projects. I have my shawl and I have my blankets. It's nice to always have something you can work on um, in between the projects because no knitting, no crochet is no option. Um, but um, just focusing in ending the, the, the project and then starting the new one. So it feels very good. And um, if I am very have a very organized life, <laughs> I I don't know. I'm not a very messy person. I really love organize uh, a good organization and structure and routine. I'm I'm working best on that way. But I am I'm a bit messy in my head. I guess maybe that's why I love structure so much and um, calm down because I'm always running. I always want to do this and just calm down. That's why I love knitting. I'm sitting and knitting and my hands are running. But I'm sitting and knitting. It's the perfect balance. But this sweater, I'm um, when she's um, that, uh, home from school, she will fit it, and I hope, I hope she will uh, enjoy it. I do. It feels very nice and very, very warm. So perfect. I was planning to make. Um, uh, you don't say Spencer in English. A vest, a vest, a slip over for myself. But I did have. Um, two uh, works in projects um, uh, living in their project bags. Uh, I am knitting my Straya cardigan, a pattern from and Andrea Maori, but um, it's a fingering weight cardigan and it feels more <coughs> for spring and summer, called summer days. So um, I'm taking part at the slow knitting along from a Dutch knit, for, uh, from organized by a Dutch knitter. And I take it very serious. It's a very slow knitting. But I will wait with finishing that for a few months. But I also had my Ursina in a lovely project bag. Made by a Belgian lady. Quilting Mieke. And she gifted to me. And it's very... Look at this. My name is on it. I really love it. I love the fabric. I love uh, the quilting. All the fabric scraps. I love my name on it, but I also love the shape. It's a very, very nice shape for a project bag. So it's uh, because it's a square, bottom square, it stands up. It's, it's a, it has a name, a Chinese, Chinese something uh, bag. 
But um, I was also working at my Ursina. I started this in September last year and um, I love the pattern by Ursina, uh, by, by Jacqueline Seaslick, the pattern. It uh, gives you two options uh, for the Ursina sweater, uh, one in sport weight and one in worsted weight. And I regret I didn't um, uh, use Let Lopi for it because that's absolutely what I want right now, a Let Lopi Ursina. But in September, I didn't have the winter vibes, I guess. So I uh, cast it on in uh, low peak, in, in Istex Kampgarren. And it's still not clear to me if this is superwash or non-superwash. Every time I ask, I get different answers. Most answers go to non-superwash, but not, no, not all. And I contacted Istex, but they didn't answer me and I'm still not knowing it. So if you know if this is non-superwash or superwash, let me know. Um, and um, it's a lovely yarn. It's a merino yarn, 100% merino in the colorway 1203. And uh, it's a bit of a brown beige. And I love the colorway, but I'm not quite sure if this was the right yarn choice because ah, the merino is not forgiving. And uh, my sweater is on a on a hard point. I did an I cord bind off, and I have to sew it together. But I can show you. But next next week it will be finished because I'm glad I picked it up because it was way more finished than I thought. Um, um, I love this pattern. It is really uh, fantastic. It's so so much fun to knit because there is happening a lot of no, not a lot, but just enough to to not get bored. But and it's also not hard to do it. And I love this, but I'm not sure. I absolutely want one in Let Lopi. And also for the sport weight, maybe when I used Rauma, a bit more rustic yarn than the soft merino would be better for this pattern. But still, I love the color and I did a fit yesterday uh, and it's perfect on this dress. And um, um, because of the merino, it will be perfect for uh, spring and cold summer days on my linen skirts, I guess. Uh, the sleeves are quite fitted and um, I hope they will grow a bit. But what I I did add an eye cord bind off to the neckline. And uh, as I said, my skills are improving because it's quite neat and I'm very proud and um, I, love, uh, I love it. The um, half brioche stitch is very fun to do, but it's quite loose. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I also made a mistake because I wasn't, I wasn't, um, uh, yeah, I had some stitches left here. So, so the brioche was, was not, it's not even at both sides or was it on this side? I'm not quite sure, but I, <coughs> I don't mind. I, I told myself, oh, you can't see it when you wear it. And, um, uh, but I love the details. What I will do, I, will, I thought I was playing yarn chicken, but I didn't have one skein, but two. So it's absolutely okay. So I finished this eye cord bind off. It, it, the pattern told you to do just a regular bind off, but I love it. I, 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 it was in this yarn, not what I liked. So I prefer this one. And what I will do is add some length to the sleeves. Mm, um, I think. Do I... Maybe I rip out some part so I can skip the decreases from here. So it, it's quite it's quite tight, but it uh, also um, uh, tells you to do a regular bind off. But and and then it rolls a bit back. But I think because I did an eye cord bind off um, at the neckline and at the hem, I will add an eye cord bind bind off also to the sleeve. So I will um, uh, rip out the bind off. Undo the bind off, pick up the stitches again, add a bit of a little length, and do an eye cord bind off. And then uh, I did also uh, the pattern gives you options for a for a cropped version and a full length version. I was not quite sure when I picked up the sweater uh, last Saturday. I thought, was I do was I'm doing? Would I do the? Uh, was I planning the the full length version? I'm a bit with these dresses. Cropped is better, and cropped will be my new favorite because cropped is perfect on these dresses. And cropped is so quite. You, you are finished earlier, and 
I have quite some sweaters with too much length. Um, I'm I'm a small person, so cropped is better. Um, it it makes sense more at my body. But this is a in this is an in between size. It's not cropped and it's not full length. It's just something. But I think it's the perfect length for me. So we will keep it this way. And I actually want to cast on an an second one in Let Lopi immediately. But I'm not sure if I will do it because I have other plans. I do have um, plans for uh, a knitted vest. But yesterday, my youngest daughter, 13 year old, she came to me and she asked, can you knit me a waistcoat? I saw a waistcoat and I really want to have it, but can you knit it for me? And I was, okay, what, show me. She had some pictures on her phone and she showed me and I recognized uh, the pattern because a friend of mine is knitting these waistcoats all the time. And it's a Dutch lady, a Dutch designer, uh, Ingrid from Wood Wool Stool. Uh, she made this design and I, I think, I'm not sure, yeah, it's her design, but I think she she used an example but because my daughter had all the pictures. Maybe it's it's the, the, it's the time to wear the, those waistcoats. I'm not, I have no idea what is, what is wearing everybody right now. Yeah, the knitters, I know what knitters are wearing, but the rest of the world, I have no idea <laughs> because I'm not interested. Um, I'm only interested in knitwear, but this was knitwear, and um, um, I had a dilemma, dilemma, um, because I, I I told my daughter I am in uh, I was not my plan to buy new patterns in 2023, and she said, but I will buy it, <laughs> and I said, no, that's also not, but it was. Uh, she said it's not a lot of money. Uh, the pattern is three euros, so it is not a lot of money. But I said now it's my principle. It's not about the money. It's my principle. So I was thinking, but and and I also didn't want to buy yarn. But she was looking into my stash, and I had some. She wanted white or beige, and I had some let lopi and alafos lopi. But she said now nah, it's too it's too fuzzy. I want a a a a. a, a another fuzzy yarn so she dived into my deep stash <laughs> and she found some beige uh, skeins but i didn't have enough it's it's um the pattern is knitted on eight millimeter needles so it's quite chunky or maybe bulky yarn i don't have that in my stash but she found um a nice color merino um it is Lang Yarns Merino. It was gifted to me by Lang when I worked for them. Um, and um, this was a, the perfect color for her. And I told her maybe uh, when we hold a double, we can, um, uh, We it's not an eight millimeter, it's not a bulky weight, but, but it was quite an oversized model and um, an oversized fit. And my daughter is also a small girl and it would be too large for her. So maybe when, we knit it on uh, six millimeter needles. Um, it, it, the fit would be better for her. So I said, okay, uh, swatch, you can swatch. And she said, I can swatch. I said, you can make it yourself. And she said, I don't want to make it myself. She she ha can knit, she, she learned it at her school. Um, and she liked to do it, but not uh, garments. And so she never knits, but... Um, uh, <laughs> And, and she also, she said, but I want to have it qu quick. And when I knit it, it is not qu finished quick. And she has my patience and her mother's patience. And we have no patience. Um, but I say, you can swatch and you can check if you like the fabric and uh, how it feels and how it looks. And then we uh, will see. So we swatched. She started and um, I finished and we, um, it looks a bit messy at the borders because I was uh, playing with the borders, looking what I liked. And I guess this I-cord bind off is the best one. I uh, And I told her, um, she, she loved the fabric, so it was a, it was a go-to. And I said, I can make it without a pattern. It's just an easy plain uh, uh, waistcoat in, uh, in garter stitch. And uh, it feels really, really nice. I can make it without a pattern. And she said, no, no, I, I, I want you use, I want that you use the pattern. And she has no trust in my creative skills. <laughs> she, she's a bit afraid. She has 
a special waistcoat and when you are 13 you don't want to have special waistcoats you just want a waistcoat waistcoat what a what a hard word you just want a waistcoat as is as if it's from store and she said let me buy the pattern she said i was it i was looking for it in the store and it was 50 euros and i was thinking about paying that for the, the that waistcoat paying three euros for the pattern is making me very happy and i thought she has way too much money my 13 year old uh, we give uh, our children kleedgeld that means money for clothes every month they receive money for their clothes so they can learn how to um, uh, do things with your money and plan and buy all the stuff and uh, <laughs> if she was thinking about spending 50 euros to a waistcoat ghost maybe she has too much uh, of that money more than I have for my but I don't need it for my clothes because I make it and I don't buy it anymore so that's absolutely okay so I bought a pattern and she will pay it and it's not about the money because three euros and and it's also my um, plan to not buy new patterns for 2023 was mainly for myself and this is not this is for her so that's okay but um, I thought um, let her buy it let her pay it that's a good lesson because I can say oh I paid it three euros but um, it it is for her it was quite interesting to see whoa you can buy it a, a pattern and make it from yarn which is in your house or buy it in store and um, the difference and the opportunities by making it yourself is very good lesson. So I, once she feels it all and, and by let her buying the pattern, she's more involved in that process. So um, it's not about the money, about, um, about teaching your children uh, um, to... Um, I'm not finding the word to appreciate uh, knitting, handmade stuff. So uh, I bought a pattern this morning. I just received it in my email I saw and um, I will uh, start knitting uh, this one. So I will finish my Ursina and then make this one and um, I will let you know. Um, you, I think the pattern is in English so I will link it down below. You can buy it uh, through, uh, in her Etsy shop and um, I will link it down below so you uh, if you are interested you can find it there so mm, i think that was all i want to tell i uh yes i will uh i will uh, edit my episodes and upload them and then uh go back knitting and i wish you a very nice week and see you next monday bye bye